Brother Loman, this is LDM News, part of Team... Hey, welcome back. This is the LDM show, and we're having fun here. The CCP is doing a toy drive here. And I'm here with Sean Brack, and I'm hanging out today. Yes, sir. What's up? How's it going on, man? Good, brother. Thank you for having me. How y'all doing? Oh, we're having fun. It's all about the toys, all about the kids. Yes, man. sir. I know you. when you were young, you remember the toys, man. Oh, come on. <laughs> you know? I still play. <laughs> I still play. Hey, we guys, you know, we got the Xboxes and all that. We still got We got to do those things, right? That little kid, and you never goes, you know, you know what they say. But you just um kicking it out another CD and stuff like that, right? What's going on with that? I have a project out right now called Bronx Tale. I'm releasing one single every Friday. It's a total of nine songs, and then the full CD will be released on the tenth week. All right, what made you come out with, with some of these songs that are on there? Well, this is kind of like a urban project, street project. The last project I did was more commercial. Right. Kids can hear it more. This is a little more. On the 21 and over type of, uh, yeah. But well, just well, to have well, a little shake, something. The shake and move have different. Up. Yeah, shake and move, but a lot of street music. Right. You know, so it's called trap music is what they call it now. Right. And um, so I figured I did something clean and commercial before. This is more urban trap music, little commercial. So hopefully we'll hear a few songs on the radio soon, too. Oh, all right. And um, which one is like your best one that you made, the best project so far? The best what? The best project you made so far, the CD. Uh, um, so far, up to date, I think the best success was probably the song Hello. And my first single, Beat It Up, that was on Hot 97, maybe 14 weeks in a row, played by DJ Enough and Angie Martinez. Wow. And, like, when you write songs and when you uh, take songs and play them, what, what is it that you look for in, in those things? Um, well... It depends, cause I have I have a lot of different type of music. Right. It's good to be versatile, you know. I have stuff that you could like sit down and bop your head to, right. and then I got dancey songs that you could dance around to, and you know, songs for girls. I got like R and B rap songs and stuff like that. Uh, so maybe making music, ladies. huh? Yeah. Maybe making music. Yeah, a little song, you know. <laughs> You gotta have those in there. Yeah, you know? Hey, brother, you know. Uh, women, after the, you hear the baby making the women, music. The women spend the money, too, you know? Yeah, I always say that. The, the women spend the more money than anybody else. You gotta, you know, sometimes you gotta go towards that direction. Absolutely. Now, after this project is done, is there anything else you're gonna be going into? Yeah, I have a, a, a new project being released through Universal. Um, I can't speak on the music yet, right, right, but, right. but um, something totally different from what I've done, period. Did. Wow. Yeah. So you're going to go a whole different route. Yeah, it's kind of, it's still related, but it's it's definitely a little game changer. Oh, show all the talents that you have. That's what it is, yeah. right? This this yeah. one, uh, I'm excited Which for Which is one. good because a lot of times you don't want to be labeled as one type of singer. Exactly. You know? And then all your life, that's it. And they don't want to hear nothing else. Yeah, you're right. And that's what's good about it. Because I don't want to mention some people's names, but, you know, there's some that you, when you mention their name, they'll be like... Oh yeah, he's R&B. Yeah, yeah, you're yeah he's they stay stuck in the same thing. Yeah, so it, it's pretty pretty good. Um, like again, hang it out. Where can they find some of your songs now? Um, you can log on to bracketmusic.com. Um, you could go to SoundCloud, John Bracket, subscribe there as well, and um, MTV.com, VH1.com, YouTube. My social networking is at Bracket Music. That's Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Wow, you got them all. You all over the place. You Absolutely, yes, sir. Sure, you got to hit them up uh, all day. And then you, you know what it is. You don't want to find no excuses to so hit them up. But I, I want to show um, Tanya if she could come over here from CCP. Yes, Tanya. How we doing? <laughs> Again, this is uh, CCP Tanya, and she's been doing a lot of the events, and she bring him out here too. How does it feel to have him here today in your drive and doing all the stuff? Well, you know. I've said it 
before, and I'm going to continue to say it. I actually said it. I tweeted it. I Instagrammed it. <laughs> that prior to him arriving, we talked about right, a lot right. of great people coming from the Bronx. But those people have gone on and moved forward and forgotten where they come from. And Mr. Brackett, even before he was signed, he's always been a huge part of his community and where he came from. And this man is just not about it. He doesn't just talk about it. He is about it. And that's right. why I do what I do for him. I mean, CCP Unlimited, there's right. no limit to what CCP will do for John Brackett because he's truly sincere in the game and what he believes in. He doesn't just, it's not just for show. It's important that he goes. I mean, I, I didn't want to let the cat out the bag. But right. We're attending another event, a teen event for um, St. Barnabas. And there you go. he had went last year and spoke to these teens as a role model and encouraging them to do the right thing. Right. And this is just to show you that this man is truly behind whatever he stands for. And he's wow. all about creating positivity, and that's what CCP is all about. And that's what's good, you know, and being, being a show from the Bronx and having someone like Bracket from the Bronx and bringing it back. Um, like you said, once they leave, they uh, I don't want to look back over there. Or when they do come in the house, they want to be like divas and they want to act up. And which is good. Like our show, we try to take the trains with everybody. We take buses, you know, to show them that we part of you guys. And by you bringing your song back to the Bronx and hanging out with us, it's a well good thing. And being a role model, that's all high step to take how does it feel to become like a role model i'm like flattered i don't even know what to say to be honest with you i'm i'm just really trying to do the best i can really like i'm not you know and i mean it's it's flattering but I, I don't even look at it in that way yet in that sense you know but i'm just really trying to help as he much as i can he's modest well and that's what i love about him and he's so humble and down to earth like really it, you have no idea. Like, what you see is what you get with him. And real recognizes real. And that's, again, I was honored to be able to take this journey with him and, and see forward that the kids got the toys that they deserve. Like I said again, right. that is going to be hands-on. You know, he didn't just purchase the toys. He wanted to get back. And we went to St. Barnabas, and he was literally hand-in-hand. Hand, and, and there was one touching moment where there was a young boy in the hospital. And... He was playing with his little car and Bracket walked over to him and he was trying to get his attention and he wouldn't look at Bracket. And Bracket <laughs> said, if you don't look at me or you don't speak to me like a young man, I can't give you a toy. No. <laughs> and he stopped what he was doing and he looked at Bracket. And, you know, it was just it was just a beautiful moment because he was actually on punishment. Wow. And he wasn't supposed to get a toy and Bracket had no, had no idea. idea. And he oh. didn't want to <laughs> eat. And he ate for Bracket. See, when something like that happens, how does that feel like? Oh, that's overwhelming feeling. That's that's kind of like, that's the payment, you know, for what I do. When I see, they tell me something like that, I was like, wow. You know, I, I didn't even have a clue. They told me a couple of days after. But just to hear that, it feels really good, you know. Yeah. It's like when you, like you said, CCP doesn't have a limit of where to go. A lot of the singers and, let's say, like rappers and all that, they sing songs, but they don't think that they can be a role model. And you have to watch what you do and watch what you say. And while you giving back, they're saying, hey, you know what? I came from the Bronx. I came probably from nothing. And, you know, like, you came from the Bronx. Anybody that came from the Bronx in the 70s and the 80s, they were not rich. You know what I'm saying? They were not rich. Right. To come back and give the little bit of money or the little bit of time that they have, I give it up to you, you know? Thank you very much, my brother. And I, I thank Tanya and everybody else, CCP, and everybody that's been helping, supporting, promoting, you know, putting everything together. You know, that's, without them, you couldn't do it, so. Hey, without you, we can't be bopping and, you know, dancing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, right? Yep, yeah, absolutely. So, again, on this Friday, John Brackett from 3 to 6, we're going to be at the 4-7 precinct. And then afterwards, on Saturday, on uh, December 20th, we're going to be at the 4-3 precinct, back to his hometown, Soundview. We're bringing it back home. Oh, Soundview Avenue? They just hit a spot. That's where we're from. I just moved to Soundview Avenue, Com Commonwealth. I don't want to give it all out there because I, I don't want people looking, you know, LDM, where you at? Oh, so, you know, hey, it's a small world. And this is what I'm talking about. Another thing that I say, small world, because I always say, watch what you do. Because when you go up, it's the same people you're going to see when you come back down. So watch what you do because you never know, wait, that person helped me out. And now I'm going to help him out. 
you know. So hey, we might be following you in the camera walking around, you know. Yeah. Gotta see the, the back side, you know. You're, you're more than welcome to take this journey with us. We appreciate you, your show, and we Absolutely. appreciate everything that you do. Absolutely. And being a part hey. of this, this community that we love, that we call the Bronx. Hell yeah, BX has all day. Oh, it's the yeah, LDM yeah. show, CCP, all day. We're going to be following this guy around, man. Remember, he, if you don't know, LDMshow.com, hit up in all his information along with the CCP, unlimited, well, very, very unlimited. Um, and this is the LDM show. We're having a lot of fun. Olivia's bar and restaurant here. I think I'm going to drink some more soda, maybe eat some food. But since you're not here, I got to eat. You know, we got to all eat. We got to eat. <laughs> Bring your toys if you even if you're watching this two weeks from now. Call CCP, get some toys going. Toys for Todd shouldn't be just one season, it should be all time. We do things throughout the year, not just these toy drives. You know, we do kids with autism, kids with cancer, women with breast cancer. So we do things throughout the year, not just this. Hey, you never know. LDM could be colliding with these guys sooner or later because we do a lot of things trying to do for the cancer. Again, unspoken heroes here today, and I got two of them. Watch out for them. They're going to be bigger than you ever know. Hi, this is Charles Alomanis. It's LDM News, part of Team...